Hello, this is Retroburn, and the unboxing spree continues. Today, we are going to unbox the Chaos Space Marine Raptors. So, these guys are going to be sacrificial lambs because I have no plans of fielding this unit. I just bought this box for the sprues because I'm very inter interested in their what do you call this? Um, jump pack thingamajigs and their very ornate armor. So if you want to see what I'm going to do with these, you might want to like and subscribe because in the next few weeks after I've unboxed all this and maybe released another faction focus video for Kill Team, I'm going to finally kitbash a unit that hopefully no one has thought about. So anyway, without further ado, let's go unbox this thing. So as I've mentioned in my unboxing start collecting Gorn Goreblade Warband, I've been is isolating myself and my family ever since the pandemic started and I'm stuck with very old things like for example this very rusty knife. Anyway if you want to see that and start collecting Gorn set, you might want to see the link that appears on the upper right of this video right about now. As for these dudes, yeah. very sorry as forgive the awkward foldings because I'm working with a very limited space and I'm stuck behind my camera and the lights and the boom arm for my mic so it's kind of hard to reach over because gods I need a bigger table when this pandemic ends I'm going to go shopping for a bigger one but right now I have my folks living with me because of the you know the, the pandemic thing and I don't want to go outside and expose you know increase the chances of me bringing something bad to my household but anyway enough from rambling so here's the chaos space marine raptors I actually forgot that I ordered these guys if you've seen my uh, unboxing start Collecting corn, bloodbound gore blade warband. You can really hear. I mean, you can really discern that I was expecting only one box from that LBC package that I opened, and I was surprised that this came with it. Because when this arrived, I had to, you know, as per my household rules, I had to let this sit for several weeks you know just so that we'll minimize the chances of the virus getting in our household so i had to you know let these gather gather dust for a while on a storage shelf i made near the entrance of the house so yeah i i, I actually forgot i ordered these guys uh my conversion project needs another box and yeah, the pandemic sucks, man, because I need that box to, you know, launch that pro project and the local suppliers here in our country doesn't have that box, so I have to wait for them until they order that before I can, you know, continue with that project. So, here we go. Do you have anything here? So, yep, that's it for the box. Let's throw that away. And let's start with the basis. We have five, right? Yeah. 32 mm's if I'm not mistaken. And the spruce. Here we go. As usual, I'm going to do um, zoom in close up spruce videos because there are some of you that might want to know what part connects with what piece. So that's that might prove useful for Converters and kit bashers like me. Oh, we have two plasma pistols. I mean, three. Awesome. Awesome. And a plasma gun, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So that take care. That takes care of my plasma gun problem. 
very glad that I ordered this set. I think that's a melted gun right there. Awesome sauce. The things I can do with this set. So that's it. Just two spruce and the box full of bases and of course the... Oh, we have a set of decals. Okay, so these are going to be extra because I'm not going to assemble this as raptors. I'm going to kit bash these in, into something else. What's that? I'm not very familiar with Chaos Lore. That's for the Night Lords, right? And this is for the Alpha Legion. But yeah, I think I'm going... Oh, there's Zinch too. <laughs> Alright, and some, some runes. And yeah, some writing here. You can use that to, I don't know, maybe if, if you have a character that has a book or something, you can just paste them there, I think. Or on the side of um, transports. The opportunity opportunities to make something creative are limitless if you buy enough sets from Games Workshop. Here we go, lightning boss. Uh, awesome. And their heads, man. I need those heads. Did that did that come out wrong? No, I I don't think it did. Here we go. I'm not going to read uh, every page because that's going to unnecessarily lengthen this video. If you want, you, you can just pause and then, yeah, pour over whatever section that you deem to be useful for your purpose. Raptor champion. Okay, ordinary raptors. Here we go. But not really concerned about the, this because, as I've said, these are going to be sacrificial lambs. I am going to get bash. Oh, tubing. Nice. Awesome. That's going to be useful. I'm going to use this. Because, yeah. The project that I'm thinking, it needs more tubes, hoses, and whatnot. And if I don't mess up, it's going to be awesome. And will probably ban me from the local games <laughs> shop. Because what I have in mind is nasty. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be hilarious. I don't think it's going to be kid friendly either. So maybe I'm just going to magnetize the, you know, the R18 bits. So if I play in the LGSS in our city, I'm going to <laughs> remove them so I don't get banned or anything. So maybe I'll just, you know, show that in my kill team battle reports for my channel. So anyway, yep, Raptors, the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, I'm hoping that the local suppliers will supply me with um, the one box that I need to complete complete this pair. As Tom Cruise said in what's the name of that movie, Jeremy Maguire, you complete me. Okay, so yep, if you like this video, guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Doing all those would be awesome. This has been Retroburn. Stay cool. You, and, I mean, you've just seen my Chaos Space Marine Raptors unboxing video. So yep, stay cool. Stay frosty.